Hello everybody, it's Rich Conrad from Remax Preferred Choice. Today's presentation is going to be on how to build a squeeze page within conversion. Very simple to do. All we need to do is first of all just like go into your browser. We always recommend a Chrome with conversion, so that's what I'm going to choose. And we just simply go, I'm going to first go into the back end of our conversion account. So www.conversion.com and we'll click on login, agent, and let me try that again, log out. So we use the uh, G your Gmail you, uh, email address and your Gmail password. Make sure we have agent checked and here we go. Now the easiest way to uh, build a squeeze page, and actually let me explain what a squeeze page is. A squeeze, squeeze, squeeze page is uh, somebody's going to your site, but your site is filtered to see only what they want to see, or what you want them to see, I should say. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a squeeze page for, let's say for Glendale Homes that are currently in foreclosure. And to do that, all we do, we click on Build Squeeze. And for source, I'm going to type in, I'm going to place this on Facebook, so I'm going to click just uh, type in FB. And this is just for tracking because you may have Facebook advertising, you may use Google, uh, Google for a lead generation. This keeps track of where your leads are coming from. So in this case, source, Facebook, area, Glendale. If you notice right here when I typed in Glendale, it, it gave us different options. We have City Glendale, Neighborhood Glendale Blocks, Neighborhood Glendale Blocks 26, 28. Make sure you choose the right one. In this case right here, we're looking for Glendale the City, so I'm going to click on City Glendale. Single Family Residence, that looks good. Options, I'm going to choose, say, uh, Foreclosures. And we have, a, we're going to do a buyer website. And we just click build link. And here's the link of our buyer website. I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to paste this in another tab so you can see what this looks like. And that's it. So if you notice right here, we have the only thing, the person, if, if we added that to our Facebook and as a post and somebody clicked on that, that link, all they would see would be foreclosure homes in Glendale. All right. Now, if you want to see, uh, some people are probably wondering, well, hey, what is a, uh, we're right now we have a buyer. Uh, buyer a squeeze page, but what is a seller squeeze page? So let's just create a seller squeeze page just so I can show you the difference. Once again, this is what a buyer squeeze page looks like. A seller squeeze page. And once again, just click on build squeeze. Do the exact same thing. Facebook, area, Glendale. I'm going to choose city. Single family, options, once again foreclosure. But I'm going to click on seller. I'm going to click on build link. And I'm going to copy this. And in this case, here's your seller website. So all it says at the very top, the average price in Glendale is 296000 and uh, this way, if anybody, they click on the link, they go to your squeeze page, they type in their address, and this is just for sellers, it gives them an estimate of uh, what their home, what their home would, uh, could be sold at. As I said, this is an estimate, you're probably, uh, the value is 20% uh, off, or approximately 20% off, but uh, conversion does that on purpose because it gives you an opportunity now to contact because you're capturing their information. Anybody types in their address, you capture their information and uh, this gives you an opportunity then to contact that, that potential seller 
and just say, hey, you know what, this was, uh, you received a, an approximate of your home value if you like, I could actually give you a, a more precise figure. So it just gives you an opening to, to contact, uh, contact that potential seller. Now that's one way to create a, once again, both a buyer and seller squeeze page. There's also another way to create a buyer squeeze page. If you notice, we only put in one option here for foreclosure. If you want to actually have uh, basically multiple options, all you have to do in this case is just simply just go to your front end of your website, in which case I'm going to type in rich.homesandlandanaz.com. And I'm going to put the squeeze page right here. I'm going to type in Glendale. Glendale City for options. I'm going to choose, in this case, not just foreclosures, but also short sales. I'm going to click outside uh, right here just so I get the uh, found 27. I'm going to click on found 27. Now, once again, create a squeeze page, but this time for both uh, foreclosures and short sales. And then what I would do is just simply copy this, uh, copy the link, and then you put this link on Facebook. And this is how it would look. And that's pretty much how you create both buyer and seller squeeze pages and conversion. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Office number 623-414-4502. Or I could be reached on email at richconrad at rmpcaz.com. Have a great day.